Hi, I'm Donna Brash from the St. John's County Public Library System. And I want to thank them for this venue for us to share this important information. I also want to thank the friends of the St. John's County Public Library System for providing us with a Zoom platform so that we can meet each other. This is Robin Grin from the Wildflower Healthcare. And we're going to talk today about their outreach and the Wildflower Clinic in St. Augustine, Florida. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Donna. How so how long have you been involved with the Wildflower Clinic? I've been working with Wildflower for about two years now. Mm -hmm. It seems to be such a wonderful organization. I went the other day and looked at their website and I'm embarrassed to say I'm a lifetime resident and I had no idea that we had this resource in our community. And I plan to recommend it often now that I'm aware of it. And that's what we're doing today is making people aware of this wonderful resource. When I looked at your webpage, I saw that you also offer dental care at your clinic, which really excited me because I know how hard affordable dental care can be to, for, for some families to acquire. Um, let me quickly screen share the um, website and let you see how beautiful and professional it is. I was so impressed. They do dental, medical, and community help. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about is accessibility. Um, if you want to look at the website and you don't have a computer, you can visit your local library and you can use the computers there. The computers are open for use. Um, you can also call them. Is there anything particular, Robin, you'd like to comment on? Well, actually, like I said, I've been with Wildflower for two years, and it is an outstanding organization. It's been around for a long time, and like you say, so many people in the community do not know about it. Um, the clinic's been around for 25 years, uh, and we provide both dental and medical services to anyone in the county who is over 18, does not have health insurance or dental insurance, and meets financial criteria. Um, and so it's an interesting mix of patients because we have a lot of people who work perhaps for a small employer and don't get healthcare through their employer or um, a lot of people on Medicare who have medical insurance but they don't have dental coverage. And so they can come and get their dental care at the clinic. Um, and I think people really love the fact that they can come and it's, it's like any other dentist's office or doctor's office um, and they get great care and they learn to know the folks that work there too, you know, the, the gal at reception best and, and the lady who does their dental hygiene and doctors and nurses, um, they get to know everybody and it, it, it feels like their medical home, I think. Well, I think it's really important. Healthcare makes a big difference in the quality of life for our residents. And I'm really excited that we have this to help people who are lower income. And I did check if I had six people in my family, I would qualify. Mm -hmm. So the benchmark is, is not that high because there was a time when I had five people in my household and mm -hmm. I was just not, would be not quite there. So yeah. Yeah. it's very interesting. Well, and that's, things. Yeah, so that's don't great. think that you don't qualify until mm -hmm. you go and look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of people think that it's just for people who, you know, are just living on the edge, and it really isn't. It's, it's for people that are just kind of caught in the middle. They're working people like all the rest of us, um, but they don't have those coverages. You know, they don't have insurance. And these days, um, you know, there are a lot of smaller employers that don't have insurance. Uh, some people that work in the hospitality industry, which is very big here in St. Augustine, in restaurants and hotels. Um, depending on how many hours they work, they may not get those, um, those kinds of benefits. So um, it's an important thing to have available. Uh, and we have a lot of folks that really do qualify and can use the services. 
Well, especially younger families who are just starting to get their feet on the ground, it takes a while to work for an employer or get to that position where you have great benefits. Um, and companies, employers want to offer those benefits, but some they're out of reach for small businesses. It's just not affordable for them. They really have gotten to be that way, yes. I also wanted to talk about volunteer opportunities with Wildflower Clinic because there are lots of volunteer opportunities and I also looked at that page. Uh, before I worked full-time, I volunteered a lot in the community and I look forward to doing it again when I retire. Mm -hmm. And you guys seem to have a really great program and lots of different openings or opportunities for people. And sometimes volunteering is a great way to find what you'd really like to do if you're not sure what you want to do with your life. Sure, sure. Actually, we do. We have a lot of different kinds of volunteer opportunities. Um, obviously, medical providers, doctors, nurse practitioners, nurses, um, LPNs, medical assistants, all those kinds of folks. Um, dentists, we would love to have some dentists who, who would like to volunteer. Um, and then we use volunteers in a million other ways. We have RNs out in the community doing outreach um, to folks that, you know, maybe it's really challenging to even get into the clinic. We also have folks that will help with community events like the Greek Festival or um, various other activities that we participate in just to be there to tell people about the services, to be a friendly face, um, various things. We have lots of folks that do things to help us in within the clinic, whether it's filing or um, recording data for us, that kind of thing, data tracking. Um, some people will help with different types of putting together programs for us to track things, record things. So um, we have folks that, that help in a lot of different ways um, people that just collect supplies um, when out in outreach, a lot of times we will try to provide things to folks who are homeless. So we might use have hygiene products or in the wintertime, gloves and caps and things like that. So there are folks that will, you know, just take the step to gather those things and bring them into the clinic too. So a lot of those things really can help. Well, that's, that's really cool. Really Do cool. you guys offer any transportation opportunities for people who can't get to the clinic? We typically work with other organizations in the county and we are very much cooperative with, you know, many, many nonprofits, with um, large organizations like Flagler Health Plus, um, with their Care Connect, they often will provide transportation. So we um, basically coordinate with them, work with them to get transportation and Care Connect often is our resource for transportation to get folks into the clinic. Um, we're well, now, also that you, now that you've mentioned Flagler, mm -hmm. um, one of the things I'm really excited about today is you're offering mammograms on September 14th, 19th. no, September 19th. Yes. I have the flyer, which I will screen share with everyone so that they can see it. Mm -hmm. And I want to leave it up for a few minutes so that anyone who wants to write the information down has the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. It's not up on your webpage today, but I'm sure that it will be up on your webpage very soon. Mm -hmm. And I was really excited about this because we had a brief conversation a few days ago. And if you need a mammogram and you have a mammogram and they find something they want to look at a little bit more, you guys have follow-up care for that. Mm -hmm. And many times people avoid these types of testing because they don't want to know if they don't have the resources to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So we want people to know that, you know, should something come about, the resources are there to follow up and help you after. And I would mention another organization in our community, Pink Up the Pace. They are a huge organizer of, you know, helping to coordinate this as well. Um, Pink Up the Pace is actually a nonprofit that exists to raise funds to 
pay for the screening for ladies that are either uninsured or underinsured and can't afford those services themselves. And they not only do the basic screening mammograms, they can help with diagnostic mammograms, with ultrasounds, um, even with biopsies at times. So um, Pink Up the Pace is, is again a partner in our community that helps to provide funding for this kind of care. And of course, Flagler Plus, Flagler Health Plus, they are um, the ones it will actually be at Flagler's Imaging Center where they'll do the testing. Well, I was, in, I was interested and exciting to, excited to see that it was actually going to be at Flagler. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're getting on a bus, somebody's doing this out of the back of their van, right, which right. is what some people think about when they think about, um, you know, health care being provided. You guys seem to be providing top quality health care that anyone would receive. And that's right. exciting for me. Exactly. And, and that's the thing, as I've been going around the community, I've been sharing the flyer that you shared along with uh, an educational piece on the back side about breast self-awareness. And um, that's the thing that is nice, is that they're having it done at Flagler, just like, you know, virtually every other lady in the community, um, going to one of those high quality centers where mammograms are done. So it is, it's very nice to know that it's not some, you know, something that's a little scary, maybe. Um, it, it, you know, it, it's a, Flagler is, is good and reputable and known in the county, so um, it's nice to know that that's where they'll be able How to How many provide. mammograms do you think you'll be able to provide in that window? Well, they're anticipating 35-ish. Um, um, they are willing to accept walk-ins, but if, if people saw there on the screen, there is a phone number they can call and they can pre-register. They'll be able to have an appointment. Um, and so that's nice when they get there, all they'll need to do is, you know, kind of sign on the dotted line that they are willing to accept the services and have their mammogram done. So they've really, um, the clinic and Pink Up the Pace and Flagler Health Plus have all worked together to try and simplify the process for the patient, to try to streamline it so that there isn't a lot of waiting, um, so that it will be a nice smooth process and, and it'll make women want to come back and have it done every year. No one wants to have it done every year, but we do it because we should. Right, right. Well, they're going to. The technicians try to make it as comfortable as possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. And, and the nice part is they're, you know, in my personal experience, the people that do it are generally always very kind and very understanding and always women. And they, you know, they understand what it would be like to get, you know, perhaps a scary message or even to concern yourself that you might. Um, so they tend to be, as you say, very nice, very gentle, very kind. Um, yes. And that makes the process go much more, much more nice, much more pleasantly. Um, I will tell you, they are going to have some fun things, little refreshments and things like that that do kind of make it at least a little more interesting and fun to, to have to go do this, you know, so. But as you say, it's very important. I, I saw that there would be tidbits offered, and I was thinking, well, maybe I'll just go get a tidbit, but <laughs> <laughs> because I'm interested to know what those are. But we won't talk about that today because I don't want to disappoint anyone yeah. on the actual day. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to share today that you think is important or that I missed in my questions? Um, well, I would just say, um, again, the ladies that will qualify are basically ladies who would also qualify for wildflower health care. So again, the thing to understand is not only would you get this free mammogram, but if there are issues, wildflower is going to work with you along the way to find solutions all the way through. Um, and that's kind of the way wildflower works. If we find a problem, we will typically find a provider in the community that will work with us to provide the services for free to help that patient with whatever it is they need. I just find that so heartwarming because I know and I've always believed that in this country, if you need help, if you just know who to ask, mm -hmm. you can get the help you need. Mm -hmm. And I really want to thank you today for sharing all of this information. Mm -hmm. And I want to put the wildflower flyer up one more time before we finish here, okay. just in case someone didn't see it 
our um, get the information and it has the phone number on it. I'm so relieved. Mm -hmm. And I see that Pink, I actually had their website up this morning also looking mm -hmm. at it. And I am so proud of our community. And I'd like everyone in the community to know that if you don't need this service, perhaps there's some way you can help provide it for others. And if you will visit the website, there are a whole lot of options to help. And I'd like you to really consider doing that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to thank you so much today, Robin, for your time and for your important message. Thank you. Thank you for, for being willing to share this information about Wildflower because we really would like to get the message out to the community for people who need the services or for people who would like to support the clinic or volunteer in some way, um, just to make people aware that Wildflower is here to provide medical and dental care for folks who need it in our community. Well, thank you so much. And to the people watching this, please feel free to like, comment, and share this on Facebook. And until next time, thank you again. Thank you.